Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back for another episode of Starfield. My name is Brian, not Seth. And if you've caught the last two episodes, thank you for watching those. Thank you for returning to this new episode. Now, the last two episodes, you know, we got off the rock, the mining field, and we defeated the pirates. That took a whole episode. I hope that was not too long for you guys. And I hope I did not accidentally leave in a phone call with my wife in the video. I think I edited that out. I went back to try to look, but I couldn't find it. I don't know if that was episode one or two. I think it was episode two. Or episode one. I don't know. Whatever it was, you guys. We're going to continue on. We are going to the city of New Atlantis. So please, pause the video, get a cup of coffee, sit down and enjoy as we continue to explore the vastness of outer space. Oh yeah. And we got our wonderful ship here. And here we have the planet. Now I think, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I accidentally got up. I got to remember the controls. It's been a couple days since I've played and I'm still learning the controls. But you know, you guys, if you have played this game, if you started playing, uh, please let me know what, what, what's your thought on it? How do you like it? I've heard a few mixed reviews. Some people do think that this is more of a, I gotta look at the controls real quick, but while I do that, I'll continue talking. Um, some people say this is more like Skyrim in space. So far, I am, all right, let's continue. Yeah, let me know what, what do you guys think of this game? Oh my gosh, I got, I'm pressing the wrong button again. Yes, Charlie, four, two, five, coming in hot. We want to land this bird on the planet. Here we go. This is Jemison, Je Jemison. Alpha Centauri system. I find it funny they all say Alpha Centauri. Okay, there's New Atlantis. Mining outpost, industrial outpost. What else do we have around here? Is this the only planet? Oh, we got a whole bunch of ships here. But we don't want to really go towards them. Unless we find a pirate ship we can take out in the system. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Let's... How do we scan the planet? I need to remember all of these, you guys. So please have a little patience as I try to figure this out. Is it another R? Photo mode, Q. Oh, wow. Uh, that, that's really cool. That, if I can get rid of the, can we exit scanner while we're on this? Yeah, we can. Oh, that is so cool, you guys. I can, oh, that's cool. And then we can boost. Oh, do we have to exit it? I don't know how the boost works very well. Okay, let's go towards New Atlantis. We're gonna get out of photo mode. New Atlantis is here. I think we want to press R for landing in New Atlantis. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. Please wait while the game loads. Oh, there we go. 
Oh my gosh, this is cool. Okay. We are going to... Yeah, let's just exit. Exit the ship. All right, guys. We are in New Atlantis. I'm going to try to get a good shot of this. Ooh, look at that. That's, that's some nice detail there. Spraying some, uh, it looks like liquid nitrogen over the engines. Uh, thanks for the confidence. Hey, Bosco. What? No parent? Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? Your memory is uncanny. Uh, Protocol Indigo. Okay. We are going to go forward. What's this thing? What is this? Trade Authority Kiosk? Oh, this is a vendor. Okay. This is kind of cool. Well, let's do a quick look through this. Um, is this what I have? This is what I have. Hey, the board games are 17. Oh, hold on. I didn't... Oh, I can sell it. Oop, I sold the board game. Okay. Argos Extractor Jumpsuit. Chameleon Deep Mining Pack, 112. I don't really know what all the, what we can do with all of this stuff yet. Um, so we're actually, we're gonna exit that. I'll take a look at that off camera and we will, if there's anything interesting, I'll put it in there in the video. Um, but for now, we can get out of this suit, can't we? So let's go to our inventory. And we can take off the suit. We have streetwear on. Let's see. We can take off our helmet. Where's the helmet? Uh, we can take off the tunnel mining pack. We can take off. Well, we don't want to take off our clothes. Take off the helmet. How are we looking? Okay, we're looking nice and streetwear. That's how I want to look for right now. We're in a city. We can, uh, we don't want to be looking like a miner in the middle of a city. That's a little weird, don't you think? Oh, uh, oh. Well, your watch beeps faster as your suit runs out of protection. Okay. But everyone's just assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of course, uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> uh, we'll just, uh, we'll just. <clears throat> Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM 1327HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to MAST ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Any authority you hmm. had was forfeit the moment House Baroon Zealots breached the station's perimeter and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Mr. Bosch, let me just say how honored I am to meet you. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of their life. Well, just glad I still remember my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool! Is it true that the Nat train goes 5,000 miles an hour? Or that citizens get special discounts? Or that the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? 
Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to a keyless thing. It kind of smelled. But I don't smell anything. Um, no, yes, no, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state of the art. Ugh, Aquila City? Oh, don't even get me started. How long does this conversation go on for? A unfair, don't you think? Free Star Rangers helped me out well, let's quite just a bit interrupt. years back. Got ambushed by space oh, we can't talk. I'm wondering if that would lead into a quest, but that's interesting. We're gonna we're gonna move on from that. I don't want to stand there for ten minutes listening to a conversation when we can be exploring New Atlantis. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Okay. No bounty. You're clear. Enjoy your visit. No bounty. I thought we were wanted. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what? That might be a good screenshot. That's going to be a good thumbnail. Okay, moving on. So, vendors are mechanical. Very interesting. I'm going to jump over the lady. Let's see what we can find. Oh, we have something over here. I guess we should go straight to our objective. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Okay. Um. L? Oh, wait, what? Toggle HUD quests. Okay, so L are quests. I was seeing that completely wrong. Okay. Oh, talk to the bartender at viewpoint. Talk to the, oh. Go to the lodge. Okay, you know what, let's, let's do, let's find the bartender first. Where's the bartender? Let's see what we can do over here. Yep, I'm just gonna cut through the garden. This is, um, normal human behavior. To cut through the garden. Uh, cut through the garden. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello, I would like a uh, diet to coke. Again. Can I get you something? Actually, no, not hey diet. Diet's disgusting. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? Yes, it is. I don't I didn't think it was that obvious. <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something that's at customers. Break the ice. Know what I mean? Listen. You just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work for you, new guy? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Business seems to be booming for you. Yep. Spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous, galaxy-wide. Is it coffee? I have to give it a try. Or it depends on what's in it. Well, at the moment, it's what's not in it that's an issue right now. I don't have everything for the recipe. I made a deal with a hauler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. Hmm. Sounds like the sort of thing that could drive one to drink. Oh, gosh. You should go talk to security. See if you can get what's yours. I submitted all the paperwork, believe me. 
It won't amount to anything, but I did it. And really? I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. Yeah, lady, I, I understand paperwork. Cargo. I understand paperwork. I submitted my own paperwork yesterday. That was stressful. Sure sounds like you need a helping hand. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh, with me on this? Yeah, I'm here. I will do whatever I can. I'm a, I'm a little sneaky. God, you have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll figure something out. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. Heard any re good rumors lately? Hmm. Bit of a slow news day around here. Ah, well, speaking of news, some folks are convinced David Barron, you know, the SSN anchor, is some sort of Freestar sympathizer. <laughs> Ridiculous, if you ask me. Sure, they ran a couple of stories about Aquila City that weren't totally critical, but come on. Have you ever been? It's really not that bad. Anyway, that's the sort of high stakes stuff people talk up while waiting on a flight. So glad you asked, aren't you? I can tell. How do I get what you need? I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I repeat line. Okay. What have you tried already? Like I said, I submitted the usual security release forms. But because my cargo is tied up with a bunch of, again, totally unrelated illegal stuff, I don't expect the forms to matter. At all. I went and talked to an officer at the office, too. You, me. Sergeant, maybe? He was polite, but unhelpful. I declined to suggest that as their new slogan. New Atlanta security. Polite, but unhelpful. Truth in advertising, eh? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Do you have any, any information to go off of? I know a few things, but not much. The cargo is being held down at the spaceport, not in the security office. Still, they use the same access cards. If you had one, it'd work. How or why you would have a UC security access card is none of my business, of course. I'm sure I'm better off not knowing. Beyond that, the ship decks over there might also be able to get in. I don't know any of them, or I'd be talking to them instead of you. No offense. No hostages? Well, there goes my idea. Yeah, this is hardly a life or death situation. Some lights breaking and entering at worst, right? Well, that's what I'm here for. What'll it be? Let's see what what they got. Okay. All aid. Okay, so all of this goes down as Ooh, persuasion. Okay. Hundred percent damage resistance for three minutes. Wow, you know that. That's that's very good. Three minutes of just not taking damage. I I assume that's what that means. Is hundred plus one hundred damage resistance. So maybe not hundred percent. Carry capacity. Carry capacity, plus persuasion, 
negative O2. Three health ne plus neg negative O2. I can't speak. Oh, here we go. Espresso restores three health plus 20 oxygen. So the alcoholic drinks are negative O2. Coffee is plus O2. Okay. Interesting. See you around. Maybe we pursue this. Ever been to Sidonia? Let's see what we can do. So let me hit L. Let's look at this. Distilling confidence. Access secure storage. Now, she mentioned talking to a, si a ship services technician. We might be able to pickpocket a key off of them. I don't know yet. I also think we might be able to level up soon. What level are we? I don't know if we leveled up at all. Status. Character. General. How do we level up? Okay. Crafting. Combat. Hmm. All right. I'm not sure how we level up. I'm going to assume it is from that screen. Let's run. See if we can talk to a ship's services technician officer. Can we go in through here? Yeah, we can walk through here. We gotta talk to this lady. Maybe we can get a key off of her. Or him. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, sir. And here's your new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Thousand credits. My ship needs some repairs. Huh. Well, I wonder if we need repairs. I'd like to view a modify. We're going to save modifying and, and building ships for later. Let me see what ships you have for sale. Where did you say I could sell things? The Trade Authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoint. All right. Let's let's look at this. I'm sure you can find something you like. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. So that he does have ships for sale. Or a ship for sale. Interesting. Uh huh. Vendor credits, your credits, value. Okay, we're Everything gonna. Looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. See if we can. What can we do? Hey, kind of breaking my computer. Decorating their ship with heat sinks there would be a nice time. Can we? We were hidden. Detected. Didn't detected. Oh, see, there's people down there too. Can 
Can we pickpocket? I uh, don't know if this is gonna work. Maybe I should save. Let's save this real quick. If this goes bad, we can always reload it. Antibiotics. Here's a gun. Okay. Oops. Tab. We're gonna cancel that. Let's try getting this guy. Oh, detected. Uh, from where? From Vasco? Ugh. Okay, it doesn't look like we can get anything. Well. Turned around and looking at me. All right. Let's continue with this. Accessing secure storage. Okay. And we got to acquire some of the cargo. We need to figure out how to retrieve it. That's going to be this direction. Now somebody must have... Maybe this guy. You see security? Can we pickpocket him? He's walking a little fast. Come on! Stop walking. We're hidden. Uh, no, he doesn't have anything. There is this guy, though. Oh. Hey, this really isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. There's something I can help you with? Um. You've got some cargo that was impounded. I need access to it. Yeah. I can't really just let you in there. I know you'd like to help me if you could. I hear you. What, sorry, I was busy picturing a tiny hat on your head. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I'm sure we can work something out. Yeah, I hope so. What, sorry, I was busy picturing you with a tiny hat on your head. What, is that supposed to be funny or something? Ah, because we used it already. I'm gonna need you to clear out of here, or else I'll have to call security. All right, all right. So I don't know how we can get in there. Hmm. Detected. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. And it doesn't look like we would I would be able to pickpocket him. We need a card reader. We need to somehow get a card. Maybe we can try persuading him again. It's really not safe for civilians here. Okay. That's not going to be the way in. Hmm. So we somehow have to figure out how to get a key card to enter into the facility. Hmm. Okay, there's got to be a way to get in this place. Let's go back over here and talk to this guy again. See what we can do. Come on, come on, let us Keep in. Keep your eyes open and watch your step, okay?
We don't have an ID. Where do we get an ID card? Oh, we can unlock. Hold on. Oh, maybe we want to be uh, sneaking to do this. Okay, we're hidden. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Um, so we can do it here. Okay, let's slot. Slot. Okay, we can do it here. Or we can do it here. And I think we're going to have to... Oh, gosh. I think we want to do it here. Hopefully we don't get in trouble. Open the door. Stay hidden. Can we close the door? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Well, I, I spent a lot of time. Let's take all of it. I'm gonna stay hidden. Just hope this guy doesn't see us. We're outside. We're just, we're just going like normal. Now we're gonna run. Now we're gonna run. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah guys, sorry for the very long. That took quite a while for me to figure that out. out in front of mast, staring at trees. Sounds of Oh, ho, ho, ho. <clears throat> I don't want to sound desperate, but any luck finding my cargo? Oh, yeah, you hey know. Hey there, new guy. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. I found your cargo. Here's a present for you. Oh, no way. You really got it? I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. Tried to persuade a dude, didn't work, so I broke in. Don't worry, no one died getting this. I certainly hope not. This is a huge deal to me, but it's not worth either of us murdering over. Well, look, I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you have the first ever sample. On top of that, you get free drinks. Not, not like unlimited free drinks. But you want a little pick-me-up now and then? I got you covered. I need some time to work on what comes next. But this, this was the difficult part, I think. Really, thank you so much. All right, so we get free drinks. That could be free persuasion scores. I'm liking that. All right, can I buy a drink? Well, that's what I'm here for. What'll it be? Give me something free. Come on, that's not free. Give me a free drink. The supernova. I think that's what it is. 
Okay. Interesting. Stop by anytime you'd like to catch up. Interesting. Mission board. Bounty clearance. All right. Specialist. Yes. Defensive systems specialist. If you're hiring, I could really use the work. I'm interested. How much will it cost me? Trust me, you'd be getting a bargain. I don't think I should pay that much. Why is that? I don't know you'd like to help me if you could. Or I know you'd like to help me if you could. Sorry, but I can't. Don't get me wrong. I know you aren't trying to mess me over or anything. There's nothing to talk about. I've already made myself clear. You won't find a better captain to serve under. The best crew doesn't come cheap. That's the best I can do. Take it or leave it. Uh, well then, goodbye. Interesting. Oh, he, gets, he just gets up and walks away. Walks in my face. What is he, he's going to sit over there now? Alright. There's a lot to explore in this game. I'll look at that later. All right. Well, we have that. Figure that out. Let's go. Let's go see if we can do some stuff for the ship. We are barely scratching the surface of New Atlantis. Though I did spend about 20 minutes wandering around that area. Talk to this guy again. Anything I can help you with? I uh, would like to see what ships you have for sale. I'm sure, you can find something you like. I think we got. Yeah, we got about six thousand something other. It's like. No, I think. Like we could put a shield generator on. Oh my gosh, but we lose mobility and we gain mass. We lose jump range. Okay, so I'm not I'm not going to play with this for the moment. Looks to me like you're already in pretty good shape. Okay, so our ship is not damaged. Let's move forward. Let's see if we can uh, continue the main quest a little bit. But guys, I mean, how cool is this? This is super cool. Oh, hold on. Before before we continue forward, we did get... Okay. Ah, so she gave us the free drink. So we have a supernova. And we have zero wire. Which we can use for crafting. But apparently, it's an illegal material Who's this guy just a citizen hello citizen okay we're gonna we're gonna ooh uh mast district who'd you call this a monorail there's no rail though a zero rail. I guess it kind of uses magnetic to the side. There's probably a name that they call it, but I have no idea what it is. Okay, wow, look, we have an aquarium. 
Mommy, Daddy, I want to go to the aquarium. Oh, I did not mean to jump up here. What? Any fish? Come on, they don't put fish in there. Now let's see where we gotta go. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Huh. Interesting. Mast District. That's pretty cool. Who are you? You're just a person. You're just a normal person. We may be in a United Colonies city. Oh, this but is Constellation cool. is an entirely neutral entity and always has been. Okay. Well, we're going to go through the Constellation quest. We're gonna we continue are. this. The lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Alright. Thank you. That is so cool. Now, I do know that there's actually a watch you can get in real life, but I think it was Captain only Cornelius. through Everyone will be in the library, just like the inside. Super Deluxe here, Edition. He'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. Is that Gordon Ramsay? Kind of looks like Gordon Ramsay. Hello. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Pirates attacked. Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. That's my hometown. But that didn't happen. Planet. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Boom, whoop, wow. Lights and music. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? You won't believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, God. Expect us to believe in fairy tales. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have. The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Yeah, sure thing. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. It's a magic. That energy that's arcing between them. No manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that girl. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set built by 
rely on intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Yes, ma'am. How much do you know about the artifacts? What are they? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. All right. You want me in Constellation? What does that mean? What's expected? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. All right. So a little space exploration and a little space thieving on the side. All right, I'm in. Tell me what happens next. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Cool. Thank you. Hey, stop pushing me. I'm being a little pushy. A little pushy. Sarah is the best possible person to be running Constellation at a time like this. That Focused, loud. no nonsense, and dedicated. Hey, hold on. We're in a... That's the wrong one. I, got... I think I might have to turn some of the music down a little. It really feels loud to me in my ears. Settings. Audio. Effects. Voice. Voice is higher than music. That is what we want. Just a little bit. Uh, yeah, that'll work. All right, let's see. Open the door. Moth vine. Fiber added. We have a greenhouse. Okay, that's all we can get from here. I'm a gentleman. I'll close the door. Greenhouses are humid after all. I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. Constellation, the artifacts. That doesn't sound crazy, does it? How long is your whole have life? To answer this, but I was wondering something. You don't seem to spend much time at home. How is that not a problem for your wife? It's true. I am away from home quite a bit. Apparently, I've become rather cranky when I'm not able to participate in Constellation's little adventures. My wife has therefore decided it is best if I can dedicate my time to our business here for now. For both our sakes. Okay, then. I guess if you're both okay with it. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you, too. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. I've been called worse. Still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft-times grumpy old man. 
Welcome aboard. I kind of like grumpy old man. Glad to be here. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Okay. This isn't where I'd expect to find a CEO. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now, I call the Lodge home, as much as anywhere else. What's your role in Constellation? Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't I pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan, or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. Yeah, hey, nice billionaire. Do you think the vision I had means anything? Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Nope. Never seen anything like that in my life. Yes, I imagined as much. Barrett expressed something similar in his own unique way. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. What kind of company is Stroud Eklund? We're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Hmm. Interesting. Goodbye. Okay, well, we have more people to talk to here, quite a bit more to do in this area at the lodge, but... Oh, wow, look at that. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. This is really, really cool. Okay. Hello, well, Vasco. Greetings, Walter Stroud. How may I assist you? Maybe we can get to a spot uh, where they're not talking. Just, uh, checking in. Seeing how you're doing. At present... All systems are functioning well within established parameters. Oh, this is right. cool. We can come well, up then. here. Alright. Looks like we are in the... Bar. <laughs> We're in the bar. Okay. Well, I guess this will be a... Okay place to sign out. But hey, you guys. Thank you for watching this episode. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And come back for the next one. I'm going to go drink a cup of coffee and get some stuff done in real life. And then maybe I'll come back in here later and explore some, some of the shipbuilding stuff. But yeah, I don't know. I want to understand it before I really build anything. 
but I feel like if I try to do it at a time where I want to record, I'm not going to get any recording done. Because I feel like this is going to take me quite a long time to understand fully on how to build the ships and how to build everything else. But next time I come in, we're going to look... Next time I come in, next time, next episode, oh my gosh. Guys, next episode we're gonna explore the lodge. See what we can do about setting up a ship and then we'll talk to the lady down here that our quest marker is telling us to, to continue. But until then, have a great one. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.